Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm not gonna uh, talk too much in this part of the video. This is part two of the video. This is going to be covering assembly. I got a general idea what's going on in assembly. This lady really knows what she's doing. So please pay attention on this video. And I'll be pop back later on to say a few more things before the video is over. I'm going to be coming out with another one. It's going to be with sterilization. That is, a, is a, not as deep, deep details as these two, decontam and assembly. But you get the general idea and the, um, you get a picture of the what's really going on in decontam. So just watch the video. I'm not going to talk too long. I'll come back again the next um, later on to say something else. But yeah, enjoy the video, guys. And I, I'll see you guys in a few weeks, okay? Plane. I'm waiting for this to cool off a little okay. bit before I bring it over there. Okay. It's hot. Today I'm scheduled to put up instruments. These are the instruments that come out of the washer. Technician upstairs will put do his instrument count and put everything back into the tray. Once it comes through the washer, I'll bring it over here and reassemble the instruments to go back into the tray. And then into the pans to be sterilized. This is the count sheet for the particular pan, and what I'm doing is matching the count sheet and putting the instruments into the pan, and when I'm finished, I'll click my count sheet off in the computer, print a sheet, and then these will put up in the pan to be sterilized to go upstairs to surgery. Some may only have um, as little as two instruments, some may have as many as 50 or 60 instruments. The people that have been here for a long time can put this set up just from memory and uh, click off everything. I'm not quite there yet. This is used for stapling. I'm going to make sure that there's no small staples left in here. So I check each instrument before putting it in the container. Sometimes there might be some tissue left in there and has to go back to decontam to get clean again. If I don't have a particular instrument to put in my pan and I need something that's missing I'll look over on this wall. Uh, it's nice for me being new. Everything is labeled, which helps a lot if I'm not familiar with a particular instrument. I can look up here. There's also instruments in the drawers. That was the most challenging thing here, is getting to know the instruments, and I'm still learning. OK, I finished my pan. I'm going to put a sheet. These go in here. And again, I'm taking a chemical indicator so they can tell that this is sterilized. If I forgot to put this in here, they would have to take the whole pan apart and send it back down here. It would not be um, eligible for surgery. Now my search. I'm going to look for a mini lap pan 5 over here and match this with the Genesis pan. Oh, I'm happy it's right on top. These are filters. This is steam heat, and these filters are in place because of the, the steam and the moisture. And we wouldn't want any microorganisms to wick in, so it's just another way of keeping the bad germs out. Every step along the way, I'm logged into this particular computer so they know who put the pan up. If there's an error, they know where to come. I'm also putting my initials on here. They know the pan that has been put up by me. This is an arrow to lock it. Again, if there isn't an arrow on here, they can't use it in surgery. Okay, I'll check my arrow, check my name tag on this side. Check everything over here. This particular paperwork goes with the pan. Now I'm taking this over to uh, the sterilizer. Now I'm going to peel pack a single item. There's two ways of processing instruments. There's the instrument trays and then peel pack. This is real slick. So let's see, I'll do a knife handle. This is actually an extra instrument. One particular doctor may want extra instruments, so you never know what you're gonna get when the sets come down. They want it pretty, actually, so they can grasp the outside. Put on my knife handle label. 
Again, sign my initials. Everything that we do here is has to be signed. So they know who did this. And that's ready.